Um, so, uh, you know, how do you create the future? Yeah. It, it's, uh, it's funny because um, when you make the game, everybody's like, well, let's, let's just let's jump in and make the game in the future. But, um, you know, I have to slow everybody down and go, we have to create the future. Everything from a fork to a car to, you know, to everything, right? To lights and um, has to be researched. So while we're, we're coming up with ideas and brainstorming everything, you know, we're over here. I, I have to set the vision of what it looks like. And so a lot of drawings, a lot of research. What does the future look like? What are cars? What are tires? What, everything. And so we create a Bible, and this is called production design, and which is different than art direction. So we create a giant uh, website, and it's got cars and shapes and tanks and vehicles and, you know, do people wear ties, all that. So we have to answer most of those questions. Um, but we, le we do guidelines so that the artists, when they're creating their levels and their worlds, they still have, they have creative freedom. They know they have the guidelines here, but they know what to do and, and go on. So um, it's called production design, something we didn't have to do for Modern Warfare because that's set today. Okay. For real in the future, or, or is that something to add because it's fun or something? No, it's... Um, it, it's something that is not only uh, going to be in the future, but it's starting to happen now. So when we first um, we first started talking about it over three years ago, was uh, on on this trip three years ago from Modern Warfare Three, and um, uh, started talking about it. And not everybody knew about it, but I would show them pictures, and mostly it was for medical reasons. Then the military had one, uh, very very basic, very, you know, but. Um, the big thing was, the talk was for people who were paraplegics and couldn't walk, and now they could walk again, they could use their arms. For the military, it was about strength and uh, stamina. Um, but now, even more so than three years ago, I know it's going to be used. Um, it's it's going to be used for strength and speed and, and stamina and all those things, but it's, it's also going to be used for many medical purposes. Um, I think dock workers are going to use it to lift boxes off ships and, you know, all kinds of things. And in the game, uh, what, how do you use the exoskeleton? I mean, what are the functions of, of it? We have a, a number of, a, a lot of functions off of it. And uh, we kind of call it the brain of the, of the whole game. Uh, and it's, um, you know, you start with your boost jump and you start, then you have a boost slide and you have a boost slam off of that. But you also have these magnetic gloves. Then another one, you have this grapple that can shoot off of it. And because you have this strength thing around you, you can fly through the air. Uh, we have hover. We have cloaking. You know, we're, we're able to add and add and add on top of this because it's a, it's a, it's a, a skeleton, a nice skeleton. Yep. And about the weapons, the new category is the energy weapons. Yep. Uh, what can you tell us about, it, about them? Well, um... I'll tell you a quick little story if you have a second. So, yeah. one of our, um, uh, we were wondering how real they were, right? We started, this was three years ago, we started hearing about, you know, the lasers, we knew lasers were out there, but then we started hearing about uh, compressed sound and air and, and, um, and heat and all that sort of thing. Um, one of our military advisors was asked to go back to Iraq and um, just to, to kind of look around. And um, he was in Iraq and there was a, there was a, a sort of an uprising, people, protesting and he went up on top of the roof where one of his friends was up there and he had this weird looking contraption and he said watch this and there was a guy on a bike who was acting up and he pointed at him and just went Poof, and knocked him off the bike and there was no bullet nothing it was compressed air and they have him with sound so we knew then that this is science that they're starting to use already and, um, and so we just took it 40 years in the future, 50 years in the future. What would it be? Well, it'd be more powerful. And, um, uh, and when you play it now, it is really powerful. That's a lot of fun, too. I have to defer to my friend back here on whether I can talk about anything like that. As far as DLC, they're, they're just trying to get to November 4th, and then yeah. we'll talk about stuff later on. Yeah, we're, uh, we're in submissions now. We're working on bugs. So my head is like finishing the game and being here with you guys. Uh, 
That's a business decision. Okay. Um, this game has the collaboration of Kevin Spacey. Uh, how has work? How has been work? How has been working with him? How was the experience? Um, it's a it's a true honor, right? Something that I'm going to reflect on the rest of my life. Um, when he first walks on, you know, you know how great he is, right? Two Academy Awards, but to be able to work with him. And to see him act 10 feet from me um, is something really special. Um, he, comes on the, he comes on the set, and he's funny, and he tells jokes, and he uh, does impressions. And, um, but when it's time to act, all business. And all the other guys around him, they have to bring their A game. Um, so he's professional. He's great. He's a superstar, and um, he's throughout the game. He's just not doesn't have a small part in the game. He has a very big part.